Nigel, one point here in Lomo. Is it something to build on? Well, we have to look at it like that because that's what it is. We would have preferred to have uh, played in a fashion that gave us gave us the three points. But look, we played against a side with some momentum. I thought they they managed the ball well. We didn't have long enough spells of possession where we controlled the tempo. I thought we, you know, the the lineup that we had today had some of our uh, you know some very gifted technical players that we've got, but. Um, you know, we're still trying to find the answers. I thought there were some positive things, but for sure it's uh, it's uh, not exactly what we're looking for, but it is something that we can uh, build on our our um, fortunes over the last two weeks uh, were you know were com you know we complicated the issue I think last week by not being able to put in a performance that our fans appreciated and for us uh, it's very important that we um, get the fans behind us. You know that's our responsibility. That's my responsibility. So when uh, when the criticism comes, we have to be big enough to take it um, and work even harder to try and find the answers. And that's what we'll continue to do. It's uh, you know, I, I, I'm the type of person that uh, will always uh, look at the the positive aspects and try to build on those. I'm also very aware that you know the the things that we are need to improve on. We need to reflect on games properly, and and you know I I, I see players putting themselves under uh, immense pressure at times. Um, but what I would say is they showed they showed a togetherness today, which I think is um, whether other people appreciate that or not. I I saw some good signs today um, and on the back of two defeats coming into this game the you know the application and attitude in the you know in the build-up to the game has been has been very positive so you know look we know we know we expect more from ourselves and I think that's something that uh, I hope people um, recognize as well it's not that we are uh, we're not underperforming because we're not having a go. I think the players sometimes are maybe overthinking it, and, and but we'll get there because we've got a, like I say, we've got a really good group of people uh, within the dressing room, and we've got some talent there as well. We've just got to uh, get back to winning ways as soon as possible. But um, it, it's important for us that our fans. Stick with the players, you know, they, they need the support um, and we'll do everything we can to give them what they're looking for as well. Today proved we have a big game because you changed eight people. Well, it's it's always about trying to get the right the right line. I mean, uh, you know, when you've uh, when our players came off the pitch last week on the back of a really hurtful um, defeat, uh, it, it is important that we, that I, certainly I look at it not just from a tactical and formation side, but I need to look at maybe players who, who need a mental um, break as well as, <coughs> as, as just the football issues. Um, and of course we tried to play with, well we did play with two up front today, which I think, you know, Sammy Kelly in that position, as he proved with scoring the goal, is a very capable performer, and uh, you know, so it's it's freshen it up just to try and get the players to uh, look at it in a in a different way. And uh, as I say, we just keep working, keep working at it, and um, the expectation that is on us externally, it's on us internally as well. We, we we look at we look at the season, and I think our players are striving to be as good as they can be. We, but we are honest enough to accept that we're, we need to play, play better for sure, but we'll get there.